my high sensitivity CRP went up from one to 2.3. Concern? I'm rarely concerned about CRP. Folks that, that do know about inflammation, most of them, and that's not a lot of folks, most of them mostly focus on CRP. CRP is a C-reactive protein. It's a protein made by the liver, and it's got way too many false positives. We could give 100 people a flu vaccine today. Two days from now, 60 of them would have a positive CRP. So what do we do? We look at a panel of tests. One is involving myeloperoxidase. Another one is LPPLA2. Those are both, both enzymes released by your own immune system as your immune system attacks and liquefies that plaque. The most important inflammatory uh, test is microalbumin creatinine ratio. Here's what that is. That's looking at the amount of protein that you're spilling through your kidneys. You see, each kidney is about a million filters. And a filter is a membrane where you're pushing fluid through it. The, fluid, the, the membrane in this case is the intima that critical lining of your artery wall. The fluid is your blood and the plasma going through it. The most common thing, that, the marker that we're looking at is albumin, so microalbumin creatinine ratio. The creatinine just tells us, it helps us uh, adjust the numbers that we see and the, the amount of albumin for the, for the level of dehydration. Here's the thing, uh, if you get a microalbumin creatinine ratio of 30 or greater, it indicates uh, full-blown kidney disease. And that's usually all the lab will tell you. But we know in terms of cardiovascular inflammation that when you get a level over six, six to eight if you're a man or 16 if you're a woman, probably have inflammation. You have dysfunction of that intimal layer. What's the most common cause of that? Well, cigarette smoking can cause it. Uh, inflammatory diseases like rheumatoid arthritis. But by far the most common cause is insulin resistance. When, the glycocalyx is made up most, it, it's the hairy inner lining of the, um, of the intima, and glyco means glucose. So it's made up mostly of, uh, of glucose with some protein in it, and it gets damaged uh, after just a few hours of blood sugar over 140, 180, 200. So those of us who walk around with a blood sugar of 180 for hours, are just, it's like, if you look at photomicrographs, it's like taking a lawnmower to grass. It wipes out huge portions of that uh, glycocalyx. By the way, John, why don't you get the um, inflammation course? Less than two hours, uh, less than 30 bucks, you can figure the whole thing out, understand why uh, I'm not quite so worried about CRP, but I'd be more worried about those other, those other tests. Okay, so Tom, you've been at the Heart Attack and Stroke Prevention Conference all weekend here in Louisville in November. Tell me about your experience. Is, tell me what you have learned personally and then how you would like to take this out with you and influence others. I have learned so, so much that I can't begin to explain it at the moment. Uh, I thought, what else can I learn because I've been studying this stuff for the last couple of years. But this was very eye-opening. And um, I think I will benefit a lot from it. So everything here was excellent. And you, I would recommend it to anyone. Well, thank you. Do you plan to make any changes as a direct result of being here? Yes. Can you describe one of them? Um, I'm probably not going to take something I was thinking of taking. Medication-wise? Yeah, medication. Okay. I take no medications now. I'm off 11 of them in the last two years. Wow. And um, so it's really benefited me what I've learned. So you're, you've adapted a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, I've had adapted. And I know you take your own personalized data. Have you influenced anyone else around you towards the same work you're doing for, for yourself? I have tried. In one particular case, I have a friend that uh, just, he said, I'm not doing that. And he just had a triple bypass two weeks ago. Oh. So uh, he's just talking about diet now. 
But you're a walking testimony. I know. When people look at you, they've seen the changes in you, correct? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, 40 pounds makes a difference. Wow. It shows the wrinkles more, too. <laughs> but you've also worked on building your muscle strength after losing so much weight. I'll try. Okay. Well, thank you, Tom.